Hello, my name is Rama Ramakrishnan, and I teach data science and applied machine learning at MIT Sloan School of Management. I'm a member of the Board of Advisors at Cognitive Care. Over the past three decades, I have built data-driven, math-powered solutions to a range of problems in a variety of industries. And in doing so, I have witnessed firsthand the enormous progress in the fields of AI and machine learning over the past decade. And this enormous progress fills me with great optimism for what's possible now. We have unprecedented ability now to harness data and these algorithmic techniques to solve our greatest challenges and deliver benefit to society. And of course, one of the, the shortest paths to deliver benefit to people is through the application of these techniques to healthcare and medicine. And we are seeing progress in these areas already. In particular, in biology, a system called AlphaFold, an AI system, just in July of this year, predicted the 3D structure of all 200 million proteins that are known to us. This is a jaw-dropping achievement and would have been in the realm of science fiction just a few years ago. Experts believe that this breakthrough will lead to a significant acceleration in the rate of drug development and how we can produce new drugs and bring them to market fast. Now, turning our attention to healthcare, there are of course numerous problems that are worthy of our attention, but a very important one is reducing maternal and infant mortality. And while we have made much progress in these areas, every 11 seconds, we lose a pregnant woman or a newborn. And in the US, maternal mortality is actually getting worse year over year. And in fact, is the worst amongst developed nations. How can we use AI to help solve this problem? Well, it turns out that when a pregnant woman or a newborn die, it is often due to preventable and treatable reasons. So if we can use AI to develop a way for early detection of infant and maternal health risks, it'll be very useful. And by considering a wide range of data when we build the system, such as electronic health records, uh, lab results data, radiology data, socioeconomic data, genomic data, and so on, we can make the system very accurate. And such a capability is foundational because you can use it for lots of things, not just for the early detection quantification of health risks, but also to triage patient groups, to improve outcomes, to simulate the effects of interventions that you may wanna make, to predict the overall economic impact of your actions and so on. But such a system must satisfy a very important requirement. It must be explainable. It cannot be a black box. For caregivers and patients to trust the insights, to trust the predictions coming out of the system, they have to be able to fully understand why the system made the prediction that it did. Every prediction must be clearly elucidated. I'm very excited to help cognitive care build this capability. Their MIHIC system can predict 48 different maternal and infant health risks. And with MIHIC, caregivers can use it to triage their patient groups to improve outcomes. Um, they can you know, personalize interventions, and then they can quantify and predict overall economic impact and therefore optimize health healthcare resources. I am very excited about the benefit that cognitive care and MIHIC will bring to expectant and new mothers and their babies, and of course, to caregivers as well. Please join us in this journey to learn more. Thank you.